ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mustafa Can Shantur <coughs> and I am from Civil Engineering Department. Before starting my presentation, I want to ask a question to you. Have you ever thought similarities between humans and monkeys or the similarities between cats and lions? Well, if you haven't, thanks to someone, someone has, and thanks to that, we are all familiar to evolutionary theory today. That brings me to, the, that brings me to the, today's topic. Evolution of evolutionary theory. Today, I will uh, first give a brief information about evolution and evolutionary theory. After that, I will move on with pre-Darwinian evolution theory, and finally, I will talk about Darwinism. Let me talk about evolution. Evolution is one of the most important subject of biology. Its importance has been repeatedly. Uh, has been repeatedly mentioned by uh, biologists. One of the best things about that is nothing in, in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution, which is taught by Theodosius Dobzhansky in 1973. Yes, evolution is important, but what is evolution? The basic, most fundamental uh, definition of evolution is organismal development. Uh, let me give an example uh, to clarify that. Let's think a bacteria underwater, uh, which, but it's, it has a slight difference from the other bacteria. It is sensitive to sunlight. After millions and millions years, it's changed and turned into our eyes. That's because our uh, humankind suffers from their eyes, because our eyes uh, evolved underwater and it's not suitable for dry air. Evolution theory is a tool to understand uh, evolution. It goes around to two topics, origin of life and mechanics of evolution. Today, I'm going to go deeper in mechanics of evolution. Up to now, I've talked about evolution and evolutionary theory. And now I will talk about pre-Darwinian evolutionary theory. When we talk about evolutionary theory, we need to go back to until uh, ancient Greek. In ancient Greek, philosophers like Empedocles and Lucretius thought about uh, evolution. However, they were not scientists, they were philosophers, so nothing much talked about that uh, uh, that times. And after that, because of religious reasons, uh, no major uh, breakthrough happened in evolution uh, until 17th century. After 17th century, great scientists uh, came to Earth and enlightened us with their knowledge. The first, I want to mention three scientists before uh, Darwinian. And first of, all, first of them is Swedish biologist Carl Linnea. He is important because he classified all the living creatures in a well organized pattern uh, from kingdom to species from uh, less similarities to more similarities and species at least. The second uh, scientist I want to mention is Erasmus Darwin. Erasmus Darwin is the grandfather of Charles Darwin and he is important because he got the point that all the, all the warm-blooded mammals are evolved from a single cell living bacteria. And the last, uh, last scientist I want to mention is Jan Mark uh, Jean Baptiste Lamarck, who is a French scientist, <coughs> and he is the uh, greatest scientist before Darwin, because he got the point of uh, he got really important point of, um, of mechanics of evolution. He he got uh, he understood that um, he understood that if uh, more frequently used organs strengthen and otherwise they weaken and finally they disappear. It's not 100% true, but it's a good uh, transmission for natural selection. And this is a famous example for Lamarck, Lamarckist. Uh, a giraffe needs to lean his neck to eat leaves, so uh, it's their, leaves, uh, their necks are extremely long. Up to now, I have talked about evolution and evolutionary theory and pre Darwinian evolutionary theory. Now, I will talk about Darwinism. Darwinism is named after English uh, biologist Charles Darwin, here illustrated as an ape. Charles Darwin uh, is an important
important. Charles Darwin is important when we talk about evolution because he uh, got the most important point of the evolution. When he was in Galapagos used, uh, studying on finches, he got the point that natural, he got natural selection. What is natural selection? Natural selection uh, is nature's choosing its uh, survivors due to some genetic, genetic variations and mutations. It's something like there were brown bears on uh, Arctic regions and North, Arctic, uh, North regions. However, uh, a mutation happened and a white uh, bear appeared. After that, that white bear uh, became more successful at living that era. However, when a polar bear gets out of his region, he, uh, it dies because it can be easily spotted. And that's what we call natural selection. Uh, Darwin's discoveries were groundbreaking and outraged people and still outraging people. However, the modern science and modern evolutionary theory are standing uh, on Charles Darwin's uh, discoveries. Today, I've talked about evolution and evolutionary theory, pre Darwinian evolutionary theory, and Darwinism. To, uh, to conclude, I must say, I hope that. Uh, after this day, when you go out and see a plant, I hope you think that you are more familiar than you think. Here is my references if you are interested. Is, is there any question? If there are there any questions, I would like to answer. Thanks for listening.